Hello guys, welcome to Surveying Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your surveying problems. It's um, 9 serving you in class again today, how have you been? We are going to look at something very interesting. We are going to show you how you can convert from decimal degrees to what to degree minute and seconds. You know, in surveying in GIS, we use coordinates, we use them um, lat long and sometimes they can appear in this format. You can have it in what decimal degrees and you want it in degree minute and seconds and at some time you can have it in degree minute and seconds and you want it in what decimal degrees so it's going to be a series and on this particular one we are going to show you how you can convert from what from decimal degrees to what degree minute and seconds now there might be another way we should know already but i believe and we believe that uh, this particular method is um, equally what efficient and you are going to like it so if you're coming to the channel for the first time, you can encourage us by subscribing. And if you're a returning viewer, thanks for always um, checking up on us. So now, without spending much time, let's see what we are going to do. So these are what these are the decimal degrees that we have. We have um, about 115 of them. So you know, um, when you want to get your um, degree mean and seconds from your decimal degrees, it's always that your whole number is your what is your degree value, right? Good. Your whole number is your degree value. So we need to split the whole number from the decimal degrees, right? Good. Which means for the 12.930817, we need to make 12 our degrees, right? Then we now work with the remnants to get our minutes and seconds, right? Good. Same thing for the 13.01442, make 13 hour what are degrees. So to do that, we've actually copied the whole of the what decimal degree into the what into the degree column on our spreadsheet. Then we go to what we go to data. Now under data, we come to what text to column. Now what this does or what this function does is that it separates the content of one Excel cell into separate columns. For example, you can separate the column of full names into separate first and then um, first and last name column right good so as we have let's say solving solutions if that's what we have we can now separate solving and solutions into what into different columns so as we have them um, 12.930817 we can now separate 12 from the rest right good now let's click on it then we come to okay this is the conversion window we click on fixed width because we don't want to use the limited. We want to use the fixed width. Fields are highlighted in columns with spaces between each field. Let's see how that goes. Finish. Now, you can see there are different instructions to create a break line. The break line is actually what separates the, the, the text. Yeah, the break line is actually what separates the text. So if we create a break line here, yeah, what we are saying is that we want Excel to break from 12 point. 93 to one column then 0. Point, um, sorry 0, 7, 0, 8, 1, 7 to what to another column but that's not what we want so if we said okay we made a mistake let's try to bring it here we have two what we have two break lines and you know if you don't want to use it that way you can actually move your break lines however all of these are not necessary if you have made a mistake you can just what double click on the break line that you don't want and it will go off right good so maybe if this is not the location you want it you can still move your break line so this is how you use the break line so since we want it to be after 12 before the decimal because what we need is what 12 as our whole number so and another thing is very important when you're working with this particular break line you should ensure that you check your data set to know that all of the values are after all of the old numbers are actually falling on the other side of the break line. We are going to see the importance of this particular explanation as we move on in this video because it actually gives us some tough time. So since we have been able to see that all our old numbers are on the other side of the break line and our decimal values are on the other side, which means we have successfully separated or successfully converted the text to what columns, right? Good. So we can just eat what finish. Now you can see that. Um, we have our what our 12 degrees and we have all our old numbers as what as our degrees right good now coming down to this column there is something that um, i just observed now while we were preparing for the video we did something and that's what is um, actually affecting that's what is actually affecting this um, 
particular color. So we try to make it um, to one decimal place, or we try to make it whole number. Let's use that, not one decimal place. We try to make whole number. That's why when we converted it, you saw that this cell has been formatted earlier. It has been formatted to an whole number, not the corresponding decimal values. So for the purpose of explanation, we need to still change it back to what to the normal value you would have gotten. What this simply means is that just get your calculator. You know, get your calculator and confirm this. What this simply means is that we just um, subtracted 12 from this number completely. That's just it. So what you have under your minutes are actually what the remnants of what your separation, of your subtraction rather. That's what we just did. So it's not actually 1. We are not going to have 1 because 12 plus 1 will give you 13. However, when you use the decimal completely as it has been stated here, which is in 0.930817 or something, and then point nine. So you can see that it's not actually one, but it's approximately one. So all of these explanations are very, very important as you what as you build your it's actually a formula, as you build your formula, right? Good. So we have gotten this. We have our minutes, or let's say we have the, the other part of the decimal which we want to use to get our minutes. And you know, um, in mathematics, we have um, 60 seconds to make one minute, 60 minutes to make one hour and then 24 hours to make one day, right? Good. So for us to actually get the minute value, we are going to what? Multiply these are remnants by 60, right? We are going to multiply these are remnants by 60. So we can just um, come to another cell, cell equal to this particular cell by 60, right? Let's see how that goes. Good. So we have what our remnants as what as 60, right? Good. Sorry. We have our remnants multiplied by 60, which is supposed to give us what the equivalent for our minutes, right? Good. So we can just decide to autofill or we drag down to the end. Are we together? Good. So we have the equivalent for our minute, right? Good. Now, this equivalent for minutes simply means that we are going to remove everything we have here. But before we do that, Immediately we remove everything we have here, it is going to affect the values we have here because these values we have built out of a formula, which means immediately we alter the values here, it affects the value here. We alter the value here, it affects the value here. So the best thing we are going to do now is for us to just highlight everything and then copy this column, right? Good. When we copy this column, we can decide to paste it in a fresh column so that we know that we have actually copied the content. And when we are pasting, these are important things you need to pay attention to. You don't just paste, because if you just paste, you still run into an issue. You paste what? You paste the numbers, that's the values. But that's why we have um, paste options in Excel. You ensure that you paste what? The values. So you are not concerned about the formula again. Whatever happens to any part of the formula, whether it's been distorted or not, does not affect your result, right? So when you paste only the values, you know that you are pasting your result. So let's just paste the value. So we'll paste the value. We know that even if we delete anything here, you can see that this is zero. Same thing would have happened if we had actually deleted everything we have what on this column. You see that everything on this column turns zero. However, this is unaffected because this is no longer related to it. This is just a value. These are values rather that we have pasted from this particular formula. So these are stuff you need to watch, you need to pay attention to. So we can decide to also what eliminate it. So that's why we told you that this approach we are using is actually very interesting and you are going to what you are going to enjoy it. So let's still copy this. Remember these values we have are values for what are values for our minute. So we still come down here and then we what we paste it. So we can so we should have cut it right. We should have cut it instead of them copying it. So we now have the values for our minutes. But you know that minutes are actually or most times they are all numbers. They are not um, decimals, right? So we still do what we did for our first decimal degree. So we still need to what? We still need to split it. And this is where part of the explanation we gave to you earlier will come in. Why you need to pay attention to how the break line moves. Now let's come to this. Now, if you look um, critically, you will see that um, the break line is actually after the, the whole number, right? 55, 58, and thereabout. But by the time you scroll down, you will see that at some point it's not like that. At some point it's not like that, especially at this point. You know, it does not see nine and six that don't have two digits before the decimal 
as the same as what 52 or maybe 11 or any other number that has two digits before the decimal let's do something so that you can understand what we are saying so if we assume that the break line or let's believe good let's believe that the break line is here now look at it you see that the decimal on these other numbers are also on the same side with the whole number unlike these numbers that have two digits before the decimal that have what the decimal outside what the, um, the old number so this is actually a key part or let's say would i call it a, a key feature i don't want to call it a downside it's actually a key feature in this um, process or in this procedure or in this approach right good so if you don't pay attention to this you are going to have most of your answers wrong and there is nothing you can do about it perhaps we are still trying to see how to maneuver it so if you have any better alternative on how to fix this you can leave it on the comment section and we are going to appreciate what your effort so now let's see we have what our decimal on the other side of what our break line however for these other two digit decimal numbers we have it on the other side so you can see that having these um, decimal towards the right shows that you are having 58 as a whole number which is actually what we want however having it towards the other left hand side of your break line indicates that it is not a, it's not actually the whole number we are having zero point as what the whole number not zero and then we are now having 856 as another set of number towards the other side let's just click on finish so that you will see that these explanations are valid good you now see we are having what 856 eight sorry it's six five two points we have one thousand and this cannot be our second our second is supposed to be decimal which we are going to what multiply by something else again right good so this is why this approach is very very important or this part of the video is actually very important that uh, we take note of so for us to maneuver this how we have actually what what we have done is that we did it in badges or we are going to do it in badges by doing it in badges it will save us the stress of what having all of them at once so now let's see how that goes let's go back to test to column sorry before we go back to test to column let's now select those values that are very good that are having two digits before them that are having two digits as their what as their own number right so we have um, 55 and 59 right so we just come to our text to column then since we know that um, anyhow the, the break line goes it will still be what will still be before the decimal number there is no need to come down so we do what we finish now when we finish you see that we have what 0 0.85 we have what 0 0.80 then we have 0 0.55 then we have what the ideal minute as our what as our what the old number as our ideal minute right good now let's come down to these ones that have a single number as what the, the decimal or let's say yeah, the whole number the single digit as the whole number so that you can also appreciate what we've been explaining so we we'll still come down to fix we go to next and then we click on this let's ensure that good the break line is there finish now you understand how it went right good so this is what we're explaining if you don't pay attention to this you are going to have your answers all wrong and it's going to affect your result definitely so you now see that instead of having that um, big those big numbers or instead of having some of those big numbers we add on the second column all our second values are in zero point which is actually what we need right good so this is how you go about for all of the other columns on what under your means when you see that the whole number don't have two digits when the whole number don't have what two digits so now let's do that for the rest Good, so now let's do that for the last one, which is um, this, right? Um, come down to next. We start our break line. Let's see what next has to give us and just hit what we finish. Good, so we've actually successfully separated what the degrees and the minutes. So the same thing as we got our let's say how we got our minutes from the remnants of our degrees that's how we are also going to get the second try so we are equally multiplying this cell which are the remaining decimal by what 
by 60 right so we have something like this then we can now auto fill we hope the explanation the other time was exhaustive and we hope that um, you actually pay very good attention to that part because it's actually what a game changer so since we have been able to get this um, part of um, the seconds you can just um, copy it and ensure you paste it as value not as a formula so you don't run into issue which uh, we have been explaining for the opt-in time you now see that what we have here have all turned zero because this cell was dependent on this cell right Good. so we can now equally copy the whole of this cell or anyhow we want to do it let's just cut it so that we don't do it twice and then we paste it here right good so we can just um, delete everything we have here because we don't need it so we now have what our from our decimal degrees we now have what our what degree minute and second so now let's say the values for the seconds here are still too long for you and then you want to take it to the nearest whole number or something so okay let's um, keep this right good so you try to what, reduce the decimal so you have it in one decimal place you have it as a whole number or whatever the case is depending on the precision you need right good depending on the precision you would need so you can actually get your calculator if it is by you you can actually get your calculator and then um, confirm some of these values which we are doing right away so randomly let's just pick some numbers let's see um, 12.99 two four five one right i think this is the value we are trying to check right now let's see we have a uh, 12 degrees 59 minutes 38.32 seconds so now let's see another value we can use let's use a um, 13.756204 right good let's see the equivalent we have about 13 degrees 45 minutes 22.33 seconds so this is um, an actually an effective way on how you can get your what your degree minutes and seconds from your decimal degrees so these are values for um, latitude you can use the same approach as we have explained earlier to get what your degree minutes and seconds from this your decimal degree. we are going to come up with a video on how you can get what your decimal degrees from your degree minutes and seconds until then ensure you keep being good at what you're doing if you have any question, if you have any contribution, any suggestion, you can leave it on the comment section and ensure that you help us to get a coffee. There is a link on the comment section or on the description section of this video, even on the description section of the channel where you can actually support the channel. So we are going to see you on our next video. Until then, keep staying safe, keep being good at what you're doing and um, have a nice time. Bye.